Hi guys, I'm here doing another review on the Iron Man Armor Avengers series, um, Exosphere Armor. Um, you have the normal, uh, Iron Man Armor Avengers series packaging, and the Avengers assemble, signed at the top, Iron Man logo, and then at the bottom there's two launching missiles and that concept series, Exosphere Armor, the warning, and the ages for and up. Um, the back shows this, uh, the, uh, other armors, um, uh, shows the War Machine Artillery Armor, like, on the last review of the Inferno Armor down here, so, Inferno Armor, which I just, just got finished reviewing, the, um, War Machine Artillery Armor, and the Shield Breaker Armor in the middle, which I also have, um, the pullback and at the top it says pull back and release to launch and snap on blasters are included um and here is the figure and up there that I'm reviewing the exosphere armor um and here is the bio I'll keep it here for 20 or for 10 seconds Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can pause it if you want to. If you want to read it, um. But time for him to be exiting the packaging. Okay, here he is out of the packaging. Sorry guys, it took so long, but I can never get these uh, launchers to stay on his arms firmly. I was thinking about uh, gluing them on because I can never get them to stay on. Ever. It's not one time that I've gotten these things to stay on. Both at the same time. So, well, yeah, just once, but... Uh, so... Well, here he is out of the packaging, and you can see his, uh, blasters, and here are his, uh, launching, um, missiles or, uh, projectiles, um, what you do with this is you push it back, oh, why won't it work today? Well, you push it back. Hold on. I'll take that one off. And I'll take this one off as well. Push it back and... Okay. It should work today. And there it goes. It doesn't have a lot of force or a lot of uh, strength when it, it doesn't go as far because it doesn't have a... <laughs> Click and then release. So I, I have a hard time getting these to uh, to uh, launch. So there, there it is. The launchers. I like these launchers. They're very detailed. So what I am planning on doing 
uh, is re uh is gluing these on one way or another. Um, just finding a way to get them on. Um, the gluing is just one of the options that I had, but that's my only option right now. So those are the launchers and the projectiles. Um. Partic uh paint apps paint apps sorry paint apps uh paint apps are nice really nice um there's small parts um uh wrong with this red right uh, right over here um and right there the silver is not really applied as nice as you would think um and the red starts to fade into the silver over here. Um, and many other figures though, the, uh, helmet, the helmet, uh, it really doesn't, um, it's, it just doesn't really, they're not in, it's not in place. The paint for the helmet, like the color of, of the faceplate is not, is, is not in place most of the time in these, uh, figures. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And this one, this, this one is, uh. Um, this helmet is actually, this, this faceplate paint is actually in place. So I'm really surprised at that one. But the bad downside to this faceplate is th that the, uh, eyes are kind of smudge a little bit. Um, the red smudges a little bit under here and over there. Um, um, so... The red has is, doesn't go all the way to the line over here, and especially right there, and some right there, but it goes all the way to the line right here. Then there's some red marks right here from where it might have where the paint brush or whatever they use to paint these figures might have touched the silver a little bit. I don't know, um, but otherwise, paint apps are really uh they're okay they're okay i can say that that they're okay um so yeah they're okay they're they are um they're not they're not really noticeable they're they're just small things that not not somebody maybe if maybe if the person looked for the uh look for the mistakes yes you'll find them but you can find them they're they're visible but they're not uh they're not noticeable so um um articulation his head goes all the way around his head goes slightly up and down his arms go all the way around in and out um his el he has elbow the elbow articulation in and out and then the all the way around then the um Wrist articulation and same with this side. The torso articulation is all the way around. For some reason, this figure, because my little brother has the same figure, but this figure is, uh, the torso is pretty loose. Pretty loose. Um, I don't know, I don't really know why, but I guess just it is. Um, uh, the Iron Man 2. Um, joints that I don't like. Um, the double jointed knee, the um, ankle pivot and um, spin. Uh, um, and that's really it for this figure. Um, pain apps are okay. Articulation is normal. Um, there's no extra finger articulation or anything. But Yep, it's okay. Um, extra launchers are, and everything. Um, the launchers on this figure, um, they, uh, I like them on this figure. I actually like the launchers on this figure. So I, I am, I'm good with, uh, gluing them to, gluing them to the actual figure. Because I don't really like repaints, like I said before in a couple of my other videos. I don't like repaints. I don't. 
at all. I don't like repaints. And this is a repaint of Mark VI. So, if you put the uh, launchers on there, they're... Uh, it it it, won't, it technically won't be the same armor because I I don't know I don't know I just I'm just uh I just don't like repaints so that's really it for this vid for this uh for this figure um remember to subscribe comment and whatever else like I usually say um and I'll see you Iron Man fans later.